What's up guys, Heatfire Ash here, uh, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get a Dragon Defender from the Warriors Guild. It's pretty cool looking, and a very good offhand slot, uh, as opposed to a shield. So, uh, first things first, is you got to get there. So, if you don't know, the Warriors Guild is located in Burthorpe, right over here. Um, so there are a couple easy ways to get there. You can either um, walk from Falador, go through the gate here by Taverly and just walk up. Or two much easier ways are you can use a combat bracelet, uh, which has a teleport directly to it. That'll be the easiest way. Or you can also use a games necklace, which will take you right to Berthorp. So I'm going to use the combat bracelet and let's go. Now there's really only just one requirement to get into the Warriors Guild, and that is you have to have a combined total 130 between attack and strength. So that can be 65 and 65, or any combination, or you can have 99 in either strength or attack. So it's not really that difficult to get 65 in both of those. Um, you can train on some pretty uh, simple things like crabs, rock crabs, sand crabs, anything like that. Um, shouldn't take too long. And that's all that is required to get in. And then there are some recommended items. And I would suggest lots of food because the monsters do hit. They don't hit super hard, but you're going to be there for hours. So I would use lobsters or better, whatever you can afford, whatever you have. Um, you can bring prayer potions if you want to use prayer. You don't have to, but um, if you want to use prayer, you'll need the prayer potions. And then I would recommend dragon weapons are better. It's just going to help you kill everything faster. And then at least rune armor. Um, the monsters are not super high level, but still, you're going to want a decent amount of defense for them. And then also, uh, I'll explain a little bit later, but you'll need an extra set of armor. I recommend mithril, but you can use something else too. Now, once you've gone in the Warrior's Guild, the first thing you're going to need to do is to earn some tokens. These tokens are what allows you to kill the Cyclops on the top floor, and they are the monsters that drop the defenders. So, there are several mini-games scattered throughout this building where you can earn tokens. Now, you can use whatever ones you want. Personally, I like the armor stand, so I'm going to show you how to do that one. Um, it's very easy. Uh, so yeah, this is how you do it. Um, basically you need a set of armor and it can be anything from bronze, uh, to rune, I believe, but, uh, the lower the armor, the easier it is to kill, but the less tokens you'll get, the higher the armor, the harder it is. You get the idea. So, um, I'm combat level 83. I recommend using Mithril for uh, around my combat area. That's that's what I did, and it works pretty well. They don't hit too hard. Um, if you go up to Rune, you can try it. Um, you'll probably have to use more food, though, but it's really up to you, whatever you have. Also, Mithril might be like 10K for the whole thing. Um, it's pretty cheap. So what you do is you enter the door, you walk over to either one of these, and then you just click Animate Armor. Now you do need the plate body, the legs, and the full helm. So you go ahead and click that. It'll put your armor down and turn it into a monster and then you just attack it. And then what's gonna happen is it's gonna, when I kill it, it's gonna drop the armor. So you pick the armor back up and then it's gonna drop some of these coins right here, these warrior guild tokens. Um, now you're gonna go through quite a lot of these if you're going all the way to a dragon defender. You need a minimum of 100 to enter the top floor, and I'll show you that in a second. See, here he dropped all this. You just pick it up, and then Warrior Guild tokens. You can see it right there. So basically, you just have to do that over and over again until you get as many as you need. So you need a minimum of 100 tokens to enter the top floor with the Cyclops. And But I, I'd probably recommend getting more than that just because um, you use 10 tokens a minute, so... 100 tokens, that's only 10 minutes. That's not very long. You're going to need way more time than that. Um, 
to get from the beginning all the way to a dragon defender, I think it took me around 4,000 tokens. Which sounds like a lot, but personally what I did is I would come down here and I would get between 500 and 1,000 tokens, and then I would go up and fight the Cyclops. So um, you can get however many you need, but once you've got at least 100, I will show you where to go. Okay, so now this is an example inventory of what you want to take to the top floor when you're fighting the Cyclops. You'll need your tokens. Uh, if you already have a defender or whatever defender you're on, or none if you haven't gotten any yet, um, but you will need a defender. And then um, I chose to take a fire battle staff and nature runes because there are some okay drops. So if you have access to high alchemy, you can do that as well. You don't have to. It's just I choose. And then the rest, you'll just want food. You can use prayer if you want, but it's going to get kind of expensive. And the Cyclops don't really hit all that much. Um, and then for armor, you're just going to want to use whatever the best stuff you have is. Um, so, you know, rune is fine, or if you can use barrows, obviously that'll be even better. Basically just your best combat gear. And you do have to use melee for this. Um, don't try to use range or magic, it doesn't even affect them, so. Go ahead up the stairs all the way to the top. Um, when you're up here, you'll be able to, um, get right in. And then you can just start fighting. Uh, there are two different levels. There's 56 and 76. I'm going to recommend fighting the 56 ones because they both have the same drop rate for the defenders, which is 1 out of 50. That is the average drop rate, but there is no guarantees on that. Um, it, it, could, it could be different for everyone. In my first five kills, I got my bronze one. And then five more kills about, I got a, I got an iron one. And then it took me about probably 300 kills before I got a steel one. So it's completely random. You just have to stick with it. You will go on dry spells. So just be prepared for that. What I will say is after you get a defender drop, you have to go out of these doors. So every drop you get, you have to go out of these doors and you have to show it to Camfrina like I did at the beginning. So just go ahead and use it on her. It'll pop up and say, you know, bronze, steel, whatever. And then once you do that, you can go back in. Otherwise, if you don't do that, you'll be stuck on the same defender. So as soon as you get one, go out and talk to her. All the way up. And then you just basically you just keep doing that. If you run out of tokens, you go back down to the armor thing or a different mini game um, to get more tokens. And you just work on that until you have rune. All right. Once you get your rune defender, um, you're not going to show that to Camp Freen upstairs. Uh, you want to come downstairs and you're going to go through the cook's place here out the back door and down through this ladder here the cyclops at the top will not drop a dragon defender so don't stay up there when you're down here you'll want to show your rune defender to lorelei unlock the door for you and then you go in and it's basically the same thing as upstairs but these cyclops are level 106 and a Dragon Defender is a 1 out of 100 drop instead of a 1 out of 50. So it might take a little longer. I think it might have taken me an hour. Um, so it really just depends. It's, it's completely random. But uh, you will get it eventually. Um, these guys can hit a little harder. So if you want to use Prayer here, you certainly could. Once again, it just depends on how much food you have and how much money you have to spare. And then uh, just kill enough of these and you'll get your dragon defender in no time. All right, guys. Thanks for watching my video on how to get a dragon defender from the Warriors Guild. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more content and stay up to date. And I'll catch you all next time.